this is Chellis Wendy Law. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's about practicing the Dvorak Cello Concerto. Raise your hand or thumbs up if you are working on it right now. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Is it for auditions or what? Anyway, um, this is a piece that every cellist needs to learn, obviously. And it's, yeah, it's for like college auditions and also for orchestra auditions and concerto competitions. You kind of need it for everything. So, I thought I would do a live practice with me now. The thing about the way I'm doing this is um, I'm gonna talk. Like I'm gonna say I'm doing these things because of certain things, just to give you guys an idea what is what to focus on, what to practice. And I literally haven't touched this piece for a little bit now. So it's gonna be rough, but that's actually perfect. So it's better because that way you can really see what kinds of things that would need a lot of work. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> my sound so a lot of people do that I want it to be broad and beautiful and grand making sure my vibrato starts right at the beginning conservatory for my undergraduate and I studied with him he used to say that's like a was it court screw court cork is it called cork screw it's kind of like like you want to have that feeling so you don't want to relax too much even if it's soft the tension is there Too short. Don't make 
goes too short because with a big orchestra, resonance is the way for projection and uh, and also as you crescendo or go towards a phrase you can broaden the stroke so you can sh start um, short and then broaden like here less accurate for me. See what I'm doing. Everything has shifted last minute. Then the hand. Sharp. Again. 
what do you call second theme ever invented piano dolce molto sostenuto oops than the other stuff. Etc. So now, after you've done that several times, you say, how do you do this? And now you do both at the same time. session.
practice pitches in tune. strong on that note yeah that's a general gist and then the rest is really a lot of tuning like this double stops until you get all the notes right i'm talking about this pattern keep the strings close as a matter of fact practice both strings at the same time This famous passage. Double stops. With the da 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 just go. I should do this. This is really a secret for you. What am I doing? Sliding slowly, but also I do this thing go dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. What is it doing? It's teaching your left hand how much to shift exactly and over time you will figure out exactly how much and you will get precision like nobody's business Make sure everything 
everything is in tune. Now here from here to this requires you playing it several times. several times to get it. I have to practice, not just you. Practice these octaves really slow. similar stuff you know even the very end passage the infamous one dun, 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 just slow practice the double stops intonation anyway I hope this is helpful let me know what other pieces to practice for the future for you if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up share it with your friends and also if you want to support me go to patreon.com slash Wendy law and become a patron there are different perks and all the links are down below and of course Please support my album, Visual Album Passion, and watch some of the other videos. All links, again, are down below and up here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!